Despite this show ending last year, I can still say for a fact that the show had the luck it ran out, similar to the similar to Craig of the Quake, even though that it's still been done dirty due to that. And even though that I'm not gonna be close to finishing up this show whenever I get the chance, I'm not going to deny that the episodes, mainly from this one, really gave me so much inspiration on storytelling and the characters. There's no Halloween episode from this show, despite the fact that Hedgehog mentioned Halloween in the beginning, but considering that this is a campfire episode and the campfire itself is a huge factor onto why the ghosts are appealing, I have to say that the plot of the characters saying ghost stories to each other is something that we always do whenever we go, go out camping, even though I never went out camping. And with a twist where the ghost comes to life all because of Oscar's feel in comparison to his friends who aren't really that sensitive when it comes to feel. I doubt a future cartoon would do the same inspiration of what this episode did to its full potential because this episode from beginning to end did the execution to full potential and I really appreciate of how the characters are dealing with this situation when it comes to the stories they told with each other, all the while one person is extremely sensitive when it comes to those stories. Usually, I'm not really into episodes that tackle issues or educating kids when it comes to make them learn new lessons, but when it comes to this episode in particular, the lesson of seeing things that you're extremely afraid of and even though it doesn't come to life but in this show it does, it's honestly a good educational lesson for how kids in the real world will react in the same ways as Oscar in this episode. Everyone, myself included, can easily be afraid when it comes to the worst fears getting the better of them. What Oscar went through, no matter what he does, no matter what he thinks, ghosts will peel out of nowhere when it comes to the object or situation that he's in, and he can't be able to control himself regardless. And seeing everyone else just trying their best to avoid the ghosts is, even though that they had a solution that would have been solved, which I'm going to get to towards the end of this episode, they were afraid, just not in the same levels as Oscar, but knowing how the land of Summer Camp Island functions and how they're mostly adjusting to the stuff going on, they weren't even expecting the ghosts coming to life due to Oscar's nightmares. And with them trying to find some other way to resolve the situation, all the while getting away from the ghosts, while Oscar can't be able to move because he is extremely afraid, shows like these are one of the reasons why I enjoy dynamics slash friendships when it comes to the characters helping with each other out while dealing with the disabilities the other person have. Granted, it's rare for episodes to do this type when it comes to other cartoons that are highly different with each other, but when it comes to Summer Camp Island where it's mainly all about friendship, Cartoon Network really does the best when it comes to handling friendships in cartoons. Granted, they do tackle serious situations when it comes to relationships, obviously. The people who walk on Summer Camp Island were playing it safe when it comes to the friendships, mainly when it comes to Oscar, Hedgehog, and others, not including Susie. But at the same time, it still made the audience relate to one of the characters when it comes to Oscar in this episode. At times, not every single cartoon needs to be the same, but at the same time, you can always think of Summer Camp Island being a more comfortable show when it comes to not trying too hard, when it comes to being a little 
over the top, since that's something that Summer Camp Island never does. So, the solution that the Kyoto's did is that when Asuka thinks about the good when it comes to his fears slash nightmares, he will be able to stop the ghosts from wrecking havoc. With the help of Asuka's pajamas, they made a nice ghost. And to be perfectly real for how cute the ghost designs are along with the other character designs in the show, isn't it weird that this is the most cutest ghost in all of cartoons, if that's possible? Granted, it's a simpler design, but if I don't see another ghost that is cuter, then I don't know who can instantly be cuter than this. And their solution to get rid of the ghosts is to put out the fire, which Susie did in the final seconds of the episode while calling everyone dummies. And to be perfectly real, the fact that they use Susie for the final seconds of this episode is for the proof that they really know how to make Susie's character good by making her smaller in a way while the other characters just didn't realize that the solution of pulling out the fire would have resolved most of the problems. But then again, with the episode called The Haunted Campfire, they would definitely go through a lot worse if the campfire was the enemy rather than the ghosts and that could have been an awkward way to have a mini crossover of this show in Adventure Time by having Flame Princess appeal when it comes to her minions or servants or whatsoever, but that would have been a different episode and it wouldn't be Halloween related or ghost related or the fact that it would probably go against her character if it had that type of direction. Despite this episode not being scary for Halloween Mania material, I still enjoyed this episode, and to tell you the truth, judging of how this is close to Halloween material when it comes to Halloween being a thing in this universe, it's really best to review this episode now rather than never, and the, and the fact that it's mostly a breath of fresh air to go back to a cartoon that I haven't tackled in a long time. Even though you can get feels out of anywhere you go, at the very least, going to a campfire when it comes to this type of inspiration will never be topped. I'm giving this episode a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,